This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today I'm going to go over a few awesome features that have been added to OpenAI's ChatGPT. Um, so first you can see on the screen we're looking at here, they have some suggestions to get you started, which are kind of fun, not really relevant to what we're going to be looking at, but still neat. Uh, they also create the off uh, suggestions, uh, so we haven't seen those yet, but as we start interacting with it, it's going to give some suggestions, kind of like the Bing AI does. The other thing that I'm really excited about is previously you could only upload one file in the code interpreter, uh, but now we can actually upload two files. So I actually, before this, had it create a couple of fake trial balances for a company that makes widgets. One as of June 30th, one as of March 31st, and they're not really very accurate <laughs> or useful. Uh, it's more just to kind of see how it works when we pull in two files and ask it to do things. Um, I noticed one of the files doesn't even net to zero, so that's obviously problematic, but maybe we can ask it some questions. So um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to upload the two files. So I've got that one and that one. And cool, yes, yeah, so you can see it's uploading two files. I'm gonna say you are an author. I want you to create a comparison between these two trial balances. And identify anything that is unusual about each of the individual trial balances or any observations about the comparison of the two that may uh, indicate an increased risk that we should consider uh, when planning the audit. How cool would this be if you're an auditor and you could just take a look at a trial balance and have the AI give you some suggestions. So let's see what it's gonna do here. Hopefully it'll use its code interpreter to load up the two trial balances and it says, great, I see you've uploaded two trial balances for June 30th and March 31st. I didn't tell it that, but obviously it figured it out very easily. I'll begin by loading the data and proceed with the comparison and analysis. And so it sees that they both have period account number, account name, and balance. The structure looks consistent. I'm glad that it says that because in some cases, structure is not consistent. Now it's gonna tell me what it's going to do, which is awesome. It's gonna check for missing or additional accounts between the two analyze significant changes, identify any unusual balances like negative values, and we'll start with the first step. So it says there's nothing missing, all the account numbers and trial balances are consistent. Let's look for any significant changes. And it says, here are the significant changes. Cash balance, balance change in 20%, change of balance of 20%. So it looks like, <laughs> that's funny, it looks like the original uh, creation of these calculated and automated 20% for some of these, slightly different ones than others. And it's saying that these significant changes may have business activities behind them, that makes sense. Now it's gonna look at negative balances, but that's good, it says, okay, found negative balances, but that's accurate for liability and equity accounts, so that's good. Uh, let's see what else it says. Yeah, and I agree, these are all Good balances to be negative. Summary of observations. Okay, so the funny thing is it didn't say that it checked to see if the trial balance balances to zero. So I'm gonna give it some feedback on that. Um, both contain the same balances. There are significant changes in some of the balances. There were no unusual balances detected. Um, recommendations for audit procedures. So obviously this doesn't really have a strong understanding of what an auditor you know, should be looking for necessarily. Like as an auditor, the first thing I would do is look at the trial balance to see if it balances. Um, and you could also, you know, make sure that it looks like the income, you know, if you're going from March to uh, June, it didn't say this, but you know, you want to look to make sure that there's a cumulative like increase in income, not that it's uh, gone down. But I'm just going to follow up and say, um, did you check to see if the trial balance Nets to zero. That can be a problem if it doesn't. <laughs> Let's see if it realizes this mistake. And yep, I forgot that crucial step. Let's check it and see if they net to zero. 
So the way I like to think about working with ChatGPT is kind of like I'm working with a person, and I assume they may know some things, but not everything. Um, oh, this is funny. Let's see. Both balance, both trial balances net to zero. But then it says the total balance is sum to 100,000, which is <laughs> that's not the same thing. It confirms that total debits equal total credits. That's not true. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it out and say, you say they net to zero, but then you say they sum to 100k, which is it. If they sum to 100k, then it means they don't net to zero, and there was a problem. So it says, you're right, it does net to 100,000, they don't net to zero, there's a discrepancy. <laughs> Okay, so I called it out. It pointed out um, that it was wrong. So let's say um, I'd like to do a projection here. Can you project the trial balance balances at 9.30.23, assuming similar trends, and then create a visualization for me that portrays it? And sorry for the misspelling, but uh, ChatGPT is good at figuring out what I meant to say. So this will be fun to see what it does. It's going to calculate the quarterly change, apply the same change. I mean, that's fair. It's just going to assume that they move in the same direction for the same amount. And then uh, asked it to visualize it. So let's see what it looks like. All right, cash increase, account will increase, inventory decrease, prepaid and property change. Let's see what that looks like in September. And let's see what kind of visualization it gives us. I specifically did not want to clarify to see what it would do. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, so this has... <laughs> Normally I would see a trend over time in the x-axis, but instead they're showing the... Uh, this is a weird decision for it to do a line because you're not really looking at a flow from one account to the next, but still interesting. I would, I would have done a bar chart if they were doing uh, lines or you know x-axis of the different accounts. So maybe what I'll do is say um, this is interesting, but a strange view. Could we have time on the x-axis somehow? Let's see what it does. <laughs> I'm not going to specify how I want it to do it, but we'll see if it comes up with a different way. Certainly, we'll rearrange the visualization by placing time on the x-axis and plotting individual lines for each account. Okay, that makes more sense. Not as clean, so it's kind of weird. Um, so, but you know what? It makes sense. I'm good enough for now. There's probably better ways to visualize this. Well, that's pretty cool, guys. Um, I think this is really interesting. I think there's a lot of neat things we can consider doing. Maybe one last thing I'll show you that I thought was really cool is you can actually ha have it create files that you can download. So let me say, um, can you create a CSV file that uh, has three columns, one, four, 630, 33, 24, uh, I'll say 331. 630 and one for projected 930.23. And what it should be able to do is create a CSV file that can actually download, which is pretty awesome. So it's kind of a nice way to uh, get your files back out of the ChatGPT interface rather than having to like take the code and put it over somewhere else to get it yourself. So yeah, there you go. You've got this link here. You can click it starting download, and sure enough, it actually downloads a CSV file. So that's that's pretty neat. Let's see if it'll actually let me open it. That might be cool. And okay. Let's see what this guy looks like. Okay, that's, uh, that's exactly what I asked for, right? You've got your 331, 630, and projected 930, and your account number, account name, Awesome. So there you have it, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, please subscribe and hit like, and we will see you at the next video.